What's up everybody? Okay, so if you saw that video where I took two box in wrenches or nut wrenches, whichever you want to call them, and I broke the Brinks locks, the internet didn't think I could do it to a master lock. So in this video, I'm going to do that exact same thing, but to a master lock. I got size fours, fives, and even a seven. So we're going to see how those master locks compared to the Brinks and maybe what kind of locks you should upgrade. This is all for the sake of science, everybody. So here we go. I got a jack. Jack's got, oh, it. Oh, Jack's oh, got one on the tree truck. Stay like this forever. I want to stay right here with you. I want to stay right here oh! with you. That's the rest we fall. All right, so welcome to my channel, guys. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jack, and this is my world of Yak Molly, where I just share with the world all kinds of awesome stuff that I like to do. So first, for a disclaimer, no, I'm not teaching criminals. It's just for the sake of science, guys. It's just gonna be fun scientific experiment, because locks don't keep anybody out but good people. In my prior video, I used the Brinks locks. Those are the ones sold at Walmart. Uh, you can get them sometimes at Lowe's, but usually at Walmart. They're eh, okay. They're like lower mid-grade locks. They're not anything special, but it's what most people use. And in this social experiment, it is what most people will use because I'm not gonna go spend $40 on a lock that I'm gonna lose the key from, you know? Because I'm gonna lose that key, probably because Samantha's gonna throw it away accidentally. Like there's a lock right now roaming around this yard that went on that, that, that there fence and uh, still hasn't found it. She, I just let her use it one time, take the key out, and I still haven't found it. What I'm saying is, who spends 40 bucks to lose the key? So we're talking mid-range locks here. She's gonna get it at Lowe's, Home Depot, or Walmart because I took a stroll down to Lowe's and I said you know what I'm gonna buy the best and baddest they got the big number one a gamer the big bomber I'm gonna buy the cheaper one and the cheapest one and uh, we're gonna see if these wrenches can just you know take them out because I got I got faith that you could just hit these two things with the side-by-side -side method and the up and down method and you're gonna knock these locks out they're just gonna pop they're gonna say I don't want any more and that's just gonna be it so for this first lock here, this is just a one of the gold master locks that you would put on like maybe a locker or even a shed or something like attached to your truck. I'm gonna use this platform right here to uh, for this experiment. So you basically got two methods of doing this. You got the side-by-side -side method and you got the up and down method. And then you got the one where you can just kind of get weird with it. The point is you wanna find the two uh, like basically pivot points on the wrenches or the fulcrum or whatever you say that they can kind of pull it, you know, they can, they you want them to bind together and really be able to get some traction and put some pressure on those outside parts of the lock. And we're going to go with sideways method first and then we're going to go with the up and down. But always make sure one, you wear glasses. For me, it's Costa Del Mar's because they're cool. Hashtag no sponsor. Also, I gotta use my trusty dusty gloves because last time I busted a knuckle doing this. But honestly, we both know that we can get it off with one bolt cutters, two uh, metal cutters, three, any type of reciprocating saw. But that's not to say science, guys. We wanna say if you're stranded on desert island and you only got two box end wrenches, you're using those to do this because we all know we got those in our tool set. So nobody calls Share Spartan. This is just for sake of science and the burglars already know how to do this. I am basically just trying to give a little awareness to this. All right, so there's two ways we're gonna do this. We're either gonna use two adjustables and one regular wrench. This is just basically like a number 19, but whatever fits here. We're gonna start off with the up and down method. That means we're gonna put one like this, then one like this, and we're gonna pry it up. And it's gonna pop the lock from the up and down side. There it goes. I used two wrenches right there, totally blew it out the side. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see? See how it actually just blew right out of there? Total garbage lock. So the trick to these is basically, you gotta fit the wrench to the inside gap here. And once you do that, it just pops them. I did this one to the side. So let's try the bigger lock. So for the next experiment, I've got the bigger master lock and this is uh, supposed to be tough under fire. We use the same method two you know box in wrenches nut wrenches whatever you want to call them mechanics wrenches i'm gonna put this on there and i'm gonna pop it the same way and odds are it's gonna pop right out the top it's probably gonna be a little harder that was a number four security measure on their little scale this is a number six i think it's a number five see number five right there 
Um, we're gonna do this one, and if I pop this one, we're gonna try this one right here. This is supposedly a Magnum. Now, I don't know if I can pop this with wrenches. I'm spitballing it. Might have to use a crowbar or something. We'll see the number seven, how, how strong it actually says. It says it's cut resistant, weather resistant. It's the number one, like, tough one tough under fire. Guarantee I bring out Big Bertha, I'll pop this. Ain't you ready for the deer rifle? Master lock. All right, let's get to the science experiment. Locking it on here. And we're uh, gonna see how tough she really is. Don't throw the key away. Got number 19. goes look at this check this out totally broke so I busted that one check it out so I broke this one with the up and down method I broke the last one with the side to side it was kind of tough to get these wrenches in between here when there was an actual like latch on here like a, this thing right here it's kind of hard to get the wrenches in between with this in here on the small lock. You really want to kind of keep that in mind if you're trying to keep your lock secure, don't allow them access to the actual uh, thing right here, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so this brings me to the last and final one, the handy dandy, the big bursa, the monster, the monster contraption, I think I can bust this one. If I can't bust it with these, I can definitely bust it with the big wrenches. I might be calling my shot on this one and I might get defeated because that one was a little harder. I think it's harder to get it out of the actual package than get it off the thing it's supposed to be locking. Okay, everybody, here we go. We're doing the big bomber. The, one of the, the nicer locks they had at Lowe's. I mean, this is what they sell at Lowe's when you want to keep people out, besides the ones that are fancy with a little Hardly to get the thing in there, but this is for the sake of science, guys. So I can already tell this is a this is a much more well-designed lock. It just feels stronger. It feels like it's made better. This one might give me a run for my money. We're going with the big bombers on this one. Right here. This one has defeated me. Honestly, it would have been easier to rip this door off the hinges or this this little latch right here. It would have been easier to rip that off of these wrenches than it would have to break this lock. Um, it would have been easier to cut it or to do anything like that. But the wrench trick, I'm gonna say for the average Joe, this one's not coming off. This higher end master lock was a lot better. The first two, straight cheese, soft cakes, sissies. This one, I think I pulled a, a I think I pulled a trap muscle trying to get this thing off. <laughs> but I could have just ripped the door off and it would have been a lot easier. Look, these locks are not gonna keep anybody out that really wants to get in here and has enough time to do it. You could literally just pull the screws off the side of the building and come in if you wanted to. Yeah. The wrench what technique works on little on little stuff, but not these higher end locks. This is like a $20 lock. The others were like a $8 lock. So as you can see, the top part doesn't blow out as easy. And it's not just gonna like bend. So that's really all I got for this video. I wanted to show this because there's a lot of argument on the last video about whether this was true and when you could like actually pull this off. Because if you saw that video online, it's got like 50 million views where I actually saw this first. That was a cheap lock, and you could basically do that with a squirt gun. I'm just saying, like, it, it was not hard to do. The Brinks, super, super cheesy. Uh, you, could, you could get them off fairly easy. 
master lock, the second master lock we did here, it was a lot harder. I didn't know if I was gonna get that one. I took a lot of extra leverage and this last master lock was really hard and I gave up because I was gonna hurt either pull out something in my shoulder pull up a, a bicep muscle it just wasn't happening but that's all i got guys that is myth is not busted it's not anything it works there's better ways of doing it but it works hey don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below if you've done this if you've got any hate throw it down below too because it's america you know why because we can say anything we want to say and we can chuckle at it this is fun it's youtube so until next time don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below tomorrow baby tomorrow